so I'll give a quick breakdown of what I have here. I have a soft iron core, I have my copper and a iron wire. It runs side by side and I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of uh, turns wrapped around, windings wrapped around this coil. Then I have a, a reed switch here and I have my little uh, motor assembly. It has four magnets. As they come by the reed switch, they close the reed switch which um, creates electromagnetic pulse. This coil pulses every time the reed switch closes which is just uh, great because that's what we need it uh, to be doing anyway for powering the secondary. So I will uh, set this little guy on here. You can see that every time it goes by the reed switch it gets a little extra pulse that pushes it right along and that will uh, just keep pushing it and keep it building up speed for about an hour so that thing just keeps speeding up. The RPM keeps increasing. And it makes a very cool little uh, motor. I've had it running for days and it just keeps running along. But it would be easy to uh, to think that this motor was the main um, power point on this coil, but that's not the case. There's an electromagnetic pulsing field right now that's pulsing on and off completely around this whole area. And this little uh, motor is just freeloading off a very small portion of the electromagnetic field. Uh, the rest of it's going to waste right now. We could be uh, harvesting it. And that's why I want to get a secondary on here. And then this little guy will just function to uh, make the make and break connection and pulse the electromagnetic field through the secondary. So that's where I'm at with this device. It's uh, definitely progressing. There's nothing uh, touching this little uh, magnetic motor assembly. It's freely rotating in an electromagnetic field while at the same time uh, switching the coil that's powering it. So it's kind of a, an all-in-one assembly here. So anyway, I will keep you all posted as I progress.